G'day viewers, Jodo Cast again, and this time around we're having a look at the Worker Swordfish. Uh, this has been kindly sent to me by the guys over at NF Strike, and uh, check out the description below to see their links to their websites. These guys do aftermarket uh, and genuine nerf products and worker products and other suppliers and their stuff is the bomb. It's great to um, to deal with, um, good pricing, um, good customer service, etc. So go and check them out for all your uh, Nerf needs. Now, um, I did give away a couple of little teasers as to what this one's about. I saw the clear shell on this and was just, uh, it just screamed at me that it has to be a LED mod. So I've decided that I'm going to do a uh, mod of uh, using LEDs, illumination, blah, blah, blah. I've come up with a theme um, and I am going to call it the Seraph. Um, now the Seraph was an angel of light that uh, is said to have had emitted a brilliant white light um, and was one of the highest orders of angels. So uh, this will be a top tier blaster and have um, some rather serious LED illumination about it. I have got some Cree uh, LEDs. They're um, what they call a piranha style LED, so magnifying dome, um, but they're extremely bright and you can actually solder them in different configurations. They're a four pin, um, two positives and two negatives. So they're ideal for running like in sequence um, uh, or in series, uh, depending on your voltage that you're using to run your LEDs, you can run them in series or in parallel. For the blaster, I'm planning on doing another power stock uh, type scenario, um, and for which I went and bought some um, what they call translucent 3D printer filament, um, and uh, I printed um, my side plates for the work stock and I found a file on Thingiverse for a cheek rest for the worker stocks as well. So I printed that in the translucent, and so that is the end result there. So look, it's it's not clear as such, as you can see quite obviously, um, but it will allow light to pass through it if you um, if you hold it up to the light, you can see you can see through it. Um, that's a clear worker stock which will be going onto the blaster and I've fitted the side plates and the cheek rest. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a different look. Um, and like I did with my other uh, power stocks, um, the, cheek, the side plate here is attached with rear earth magnets. So we will be able to use the interior of the stock as a battery tray per se, and then your cover plate will just snap into place there. Um, and it's held on very well, so it's not going to come off in mid-game or anything. It, uh, it, it's it got the three inlaid magnets and then three corresponding ones glued inside the shell, so um, it snaps into place. So, uh, yeah, well, there's also a... Um, I've got a clear, uh, few clear accessories to go onto the blaster, so I'll be using those as well. They will be unveiled as we go about the build. Um, but to start off with, what I'm doing is creating... Uh, little LED pods um, using the Cree LED, soldering them together into different formats to sit into various positions around the blaster. Um, obviously, when the blaster is being held, the vast majority of the of the handle is covered, but you can see there's that bottom corner is exposed. So I'm going to have an LED cluster in that bottom corner to illuminate that corner. Uh, above the hand grip in this top corner up here, we'll put an LED, another LED cluster up here. Um, we'll line the top with LEDs that uh, will illuminate down into the blaster, outward radiant from the blaster. Up the front here we want to illuminate uh, back towards the interior of the blaster as well as down. Um, yeah, so basically at, at each intersection you want to illuminate as many directions as possible with your LEDs. Um, to give you a full, you know, three-dimensional illumination and uh, some brilliant light. Um, yeah, so we'll go about making the LED clusters, put them into place, we'll test them along the way, uh, make sure that we get our voltage correct, etc. So stick with me, um, we'll speed through the build so that uh, you're not left, you know, watching each individual solder joint, etc, etc. So we'll put it into fast forward 
and we'll whiz through making up these LED clusters, doing some testing along the way. And then once we've got the main blaster illumination finished, we'll show you that. Um, and then we'll go about working out the body kit pieces, how to fit them, um, how to illuminate them as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so stick in for the ride and I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so I'm still waiting for more parts to arrive, but I've just been slowly sort of putting the little LED clusters into place and sort of seeing where more LEDs have to be placed, etc. All right, so work's uh, continuing on the Seraphim project. Um, I'm just uh, playing around at the moment doing these clusters of LEDs um, to try and um, illuminate the blaster. Uh, as you can see, they're fairly bright. Um, each there's a little cluster in each point there that are multi-way LEDs so they illuminate in you know the numerous different directions so uh, forward backward left right um, and down in some cases so as you can see they're there to sort of give that three-dimensional illumination Oop, loose connection. So, yeah, so um, so that's where we're at at the moment. So we're doing these little clusters of LEDs and then putting them in. Um, I need to try and get some illumination around this central po point here. Uh, I've got some to go down the front of the magazine well. Um, and then I'm going to start working on the stock and do, do some LEDs around the outside edge of the stock. But... Um, yeah, so far this is where we're at. Um, I'm going to open this up. I'll show you what we're looking at here. So you've got your little LED clusters. Um, oh, I printed a Morpheus cage in the translucent filament. Um, so I'm going to use that uh, with fangs revamped. So that's what we're going to use as the powerhouse in this. Um, and the whole lot will run off uh, 2S. Uh, so... Um, the LEDs I'm hooking up to run off 2S as well. So, uh, and that, of course, the power supply will be back in the, in the power stock. So, um, it's not going to interfere with the, the door there, which, uh, I might try and build some LEDs into there as well. Definitely need to get some into this, into this magazine one area. All right, all right, we'll continue on and uh, we'll be back. Okay, getting there. We've got some LEDs directly above the magwell. A little bit brighter. Um, I think I still need more around the, around the, maybe the bottom edge of the magwell here. Maybe even something around this area here, maybe. Although, once you sort of get your hand around there, Sort of blocks a lot of that area, doesn't it? I want to put some more LEDs in. I need to put a, another double-sided one in around here somewhere. And also on the... Um, the Chris Vector kit part. I want to put some more LEDs around the bottom section here. Uh, facing either, either way. Um, there's plenty of illumination up the front part of it. So I just need something at the back here just to give it a bit of a general fill. So um, so we'll keep going, we'll get more the LEDs into place, we'll get the wiring done for that side of it. Um, the stock has been done, I've put all the LEDs in place for the stock, so it now illuminates. Let's see if I can get it to switch on. There you go, now the camera will automatically adjust the, uh, the lighting. But, um, I bring it up to like what it actually is in here when you're sort of looking at you know that's the brightness of the LEDs in the in the blaster so far so and because there's this gap at the front here I've put um, another couple of LEDs at the back here to illuminate this section at the front here where it's there's a bit of a gap but um, yeah getting there slowly but surely um, We'll just get some more LEDs into place, and then we'll um we'll continue on. All 
All right, so work continues. I got my parts from Blaster Tech. Thank you to Dean and Penny for that. Um, so I got the aluminium guide and the worker flywheels for my flywheel cage. So it's all um, sort of assembled now. So that's ready to drop in. Um, and what else do I get from, oh, I got some other flywheels, etc. Okay, so we are sort of getting it together here at the moment. Um, the front end of the blast there, um, and then you've got all this rear end. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly jerry-rig um, the setup and show you sort of how it's going to work roughly. Hang on one tick. All right, so we've got the blaster illuminated. Um, and so I'm thinking I might have to put another white LED up the front here as well. Um, and I'll need another one in here. And I've got the ones down the front there. There'll be one at the back here as well. And that should give us all the white illumination that we want. So yeah, so that's the idea anyway. Um, all right, we'll keep going. We'll get some more LEDs in place and um, continue with the wiring. Once we've got all the LED stuff sorted out, that's really the hard part. Then we can go about um, doing the, just wiring up the flywheels and the power supply for those. All right, um, continue on. All right, so um, we're making progress slowly but surely. Uh, Apologise to uh, NF Strike um, for how long this is taking, um, but unfortunately it's freezing cold in here at the moment, and I've been trying to um, stay warm indoors rather than coming out to my workshop to work on this. Um, but we have been making progress here and there. Now. Um, another thing that I've sort of done, decided to do what have you, was I took the in orange internals out of this and believing them to be exactly the same as the internals of a Strife, have decided to swap them over for the grey internals out of a Strife. So as um, I think the grey sort of will go with the internals of the blaster better. Um, I've swapped out the mag release there for the, the orange one for the grey one. Um, so that's uh, that part's done. The rev trigger I swapped out for a grey rev trigger. Um, so that's done. And yeah, so getting there. Um, I'm setting up a micro switch for the flywheels. I've built a, a MOSFET which um, I have to wire up to the motors so uh, there'll be a MOSFET and they'll be running direct from a separate LiPo in the in the stock. Um, what else? Um, I've got some additional LEDs in the front here. I've got LEDs in here, LEDs in the back here now. Put additional LEDs up in the center section here. So I think we've got all the LED work pretty well covered. Just need to work out how we're going to be able to hook it all up and assemble the blaster at the same time. So that bit's gonna be a little bit tricky, but um, and then I'll, I'll work it out. Oh, and the other thing I did was I did take this front orange piece and I did paint it silver. So of all the parts that you're gonna see of it, are silver, and there's a little bit of orange still in there, but you, that won't be seen. Um, so hopefully that will sort of blend a little bit more with the, the internals and what have you. Um, with the white and what have you on to give me the desired effect if you know what I mean um, still gonna have uh, the orange uh, flash hider slash suppressor set up on it so it'll have that at the front um, and I gather you'll probably see a little bit of that orange barrel going through I might even give that a bit of a lick of silver paint just so that it sort of hides blends whatever you want to call it um, yeah, so getting there, slowly but surely. Um, I will, I'm gonna do a test run with, oh, well, actually I'll wire up the, the flywheels first and I'll get them in place. Then I'm gonna fine tune and do a test run with the LEDs. So once I've got the motors in place um, and the, the switching and everything for the motors, 
I'll do a final test run with the LEDs and get them all sort of set up and established. Then I'll have to work out the assembly process. The, the tricky bit's going to be this magazine shroud part because it sort of slides on from the front. Um, so I'm going to have to have the wiring for it hook up like after it's slid into place. Then I'll have to hook it up. So I almost need to put like a little plug system or something down here so that I can run, run the wire and plug it in. But I'll work that out and I'll come back and show you as soon as we have worked it out. All right. Um, I'll be back with a little bit more progress shortly, hopefully. All right, so we're on the home straight now with the um, Serif uh, project. Uh, I've had to sort of skip ahead and do a few bits and pieces because it was really quite tricky trying to work out how to get the wiring through for the LEDs in this part uh, and also in the front piece because that twists on in order to run the wiring through it without actually like scissoring it when you twist it. Um, it was really quite difficult. Um, but I managed to actually get it through. Uh, now we're just at the stock. We've got to get the stock sorted out, get the wiring all joined up, and there'll be your two battery connections. There'll be a battery just to run the LEDs, and then there'll be a separate battery to run the actual uh, firing mechanism. Um, as you can see, I've got all the grey internals from a strife in there, so that was good. Um, so I've got the 3D printed... Uh, motor cage, um, etc. The LE guide, white worker wheels. Um, I used got a, a coat of silver paint onto the orange materials at the front here so that they uh, sort of blend in better as well. Um, got the orange uh, flash hider and um, suppressor look on the front so that you've still got your orange barrel tip. Um, so now we'll just work on this stock, we'll get the wiring done for that and get it all back together and we'll come back and show you once we've got that all wired up and assembled. Alright, and so the Serif is finished. Um, let's see if we can get right over the top there. Give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like all finished. So that's what it looks like all finished, all together. I decided to put the... Uh, the full grip handle on there because I had it there and I think it kind of looks good and it actually ergonomically it feels nice. Um, you've got the screw on screw off flash hider suppressor at the front there which I think it looks kind of cool without it. It sort of brings the, uh, the overall size down a little bit but either way um, it still looks good and still looks nice with it as well. All right now uh, for the illumination side of things Basically, there's uh, just a push button on the other side here, so I'll flip it over. So that's it flipped over, and basically there's a little push button that I've put into the stock here, which should give you a bit of an idea sort of what it looks like. So it's uh, quite bright. And then... Um, There you go, that's, uh, that's at full brightness. So um, it comes up quite well. So yeah, it's, uh, now you get the idea of why I called it the Serif. Um, so that's uh, how light the bench actually is. So um, that brightness is pretty accurate. All right, um, the uh, internals are... <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, have uh, it's got the the fangs revamped, 2s um, in the printed cage, what have you. So what we'll do is we'll pop it over a chronic crony and see what sort of FPS it's doing. Now these darts are um, like elites, but they're glow darts. Um, as what I did do with this was, um, whoopsie is um, there are two LEDs at the top here that sit above the darts as well. So when it's um, turned on and illuminating, there are two... <coughs> okay, let's try that. There, so there's two, two LEDs that sit above the darts as well. So, all right. So let's, um, let's turn the lights off here. Okay. 
So there's the blaster illuminated. And now if I turn off the illumination, you can see the darts glowing and fading. Okay. Okay, so you get the effect. All right, let's um, set up the chrony and we'll put a few rounds over the chronometer to see what uh, sort of FPS we're getting out of it. Okay, we saw some ridiculous readings there. So. All right, folks, so there we go. That's the uh, Serif build. I hope you liked it. Um, please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you, uh, if you enjoyed the video. And we will see you on the next one. Cheers.